fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high oh, silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Oh. Silver, hurry, big fellow! Hail Silver! Hooray! Less than half a day of life remained for Montana Blizzard and Kid Carey. They were the last members of a gang with a crime record that included a dozen murders and a $500,000 Wells Fargo Express robbery. As the carpenters put the finishing touches on a double trap gallows in the jail yard, Blizzard sat on his bunk, swung his legs, and wove horsehair with the deftness of an old rage rider. Kid Carey walked about restlessly. Sit down, kid. You make me nervous. I make you nervous with that hammering going on outside. You act like a fellow who's really going to get hung. Yeah, suppose things don't turn out right. Suppose that. Don't they... suppose. Think about the fun we'll have after we dig up that silver bullion the bunch took from Wells Fargo. Well, I ain't so sure we'll ever find it. You helped bury it before the gang split up that day. Yeah, but that was months ago. A posse had chased us into a part of the Badlands nobody ever saw before. I don't know how I got out of those cussed hills and canyons. Well, I know exactly where the stuff is. How's that? Coming out, I mapped my own trail. Studied the landmarks, put down the distances and directions in a pack of cigarette papers. Yeah, where are the papers now? They're inside a 45 cartridge in my gun belt. You'll never see that belt again, even if we don't swing. I'll be wearing it tonight, kid. Jailer grabbed off my gun harness and colt when I got shot up and captured. It's hanging in the office and hasn't been touched. Hey, where's that little horsehair lariat? Coiled up inside my sleeve where I can reach it quick. How many Mexican hat bands did you have to make for that cussed jailer just to get hair enough for your rope? Enough. I had to keep him from getting suspicious. He's locoed about souvenirs, but not so dumb about other things. Yeah. Can't get him within arm's reach of our cell door when he's alone. Hey, he's coming back here from the office now. Then it's time to take him. Hello, boys. Chinaman's bringing your last big feed shortly. You can pay him out of what you get for these hat bands. Hold them out through the bars. I won't come closer. Uh, you must think we're dangerous, Blizzard. Oh, that's right. Nice handiwork. Say, what's that other thing you got? Something else for you. A noose. I'm joking. Let go. You looped him, Blizzard. Sure, come over here. Over here. That's it. Hold him right up against those bars. I'm getting his gun and keys. That's it. 
Bash him with that gun barrel, kid. Yeah, that'll hold him. Now, what's next? We'll go out through the office. I gotta have my gun and outfit. Then we'll grab a couple of horses from the jail stable. One night, two weeks later, Montana Blizzard and Kid Carey rode into Red Ledge, 500 miles from the scene of their jailbreak. Behind them lay raided stores and corrals, but they were still far ahead of the pursuing posses, being well-mounted and well-armed. Kid, this is where I came out of the Badlands after we hid the silver. Yeah. What is this place, Blizzard? Ghost town? Almost. Must be a hundred buildings. Well, only Sime Bryce lives here anymore. He's got that store where you see the light. Yeah, you know him? Sure. I've got to see him. Pull up, kid. Yeah, oh, 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 boy. Oh, steady. <laughs> this is the old liver stable. You put the nags in there and take it easy till I get back. You're going to cut Bryce in on the deal? There ain't no way getting out of it. We need supplies. A wagon or maybe a pack train. He's got them. Yes, that would take the silver out a few bars at a time. We can't risk more than one trip. All the law in the country will be breathing in our necks in a few days. That much bullion will be hard to sell. Sam Bryce will help us there, too. Storekeeping ain't his real game. He's salting the worked out mines around here, and he's got connections in Denver. Oh, I savvy. Hey, this barn looks like a safe place. After I get the horses put away, <laughs> gonna grab a week or two. The following morning, the Lone Ranger, short of provisions, sent Dan Reed into Red Ledge from a camp in a nearby cedar break. Dan found Sime Bryce's store crowded with ranchers and cowhands. They broke off an excited conversation to eye the boy curiously while Bryce filled his order. Yeah, uh, coffee, beans, bacon, and flour. Say, ain't you a stranger in these parts, young fella? I'm with a party bound for Montana. Didn't lose one of your people, did you? Nope. Eight dollars, nine dollars, nine... Here comes Sheriff Mason now. Well, howdy, gents. Howdy, Sam. Howdy. Well, looks like Red Ledge is coming to life again. This makes your first killing since the mines played out. That's right, Sheriff. Yeah. What about this fella who ran into a bullet last night? Oh, he's out there in my freight wagon. I know, I looked at him. Anybody ever seen him before? No, I I suppose you searched him, Sam. Yep. All he was carrying was a six-gun outfit. Gun was loaded. No marks of any kind on the stuff. I noticed that. As I get it, Sam, you heard the shot that killed him. Yep, just as I was closing up. I ran out with my scatter gun, and there he was. Right in front of what used to be the Placer Saloon. You didn't see anybody else? No, but I heard horses. You know, I can't make out that dead man... He's got a rider's bow legs and white hands, but he's bleached out like an ore miner. Yeah. What are you going to do about him? Well, right now I'm going to have a chew. Whack me off about two bits worth plug. Oh, now don't expect me to crack that cartwheel, Sheriff. Ain't seen no small change since I set up here. Uh, thanks. You'll have to take those cartridges for change. Uh, won't need any more cartridges. I'll pay in 45. Mm -hmm. The rate's five cents each. Uh, fair enough. There you are. Five of them. Now, boys, suppose you're trying to pick up the killer's trail. Who's riding with Everybody. you? Everybody. Sure. Sure. All right, come on, boys. You get a horse and get going. Oh, almost forgot you, kid. <laughs> and there's your stuff. Comes to just uh, $9.75. Here's $10 of gold. All right. You'll have to take those 45s for change. I'll take them. As Dan headed his horse back to camp, Sime Bryce was startled by a noise at the back of his store. He turned and reached for a sawed-off shotgun. Before he was able to lay hands on the weapon, the rear door crashed open. He found himself looking to the muzzle of Kid Carey's six-gun. Freeze, Bryce. Uh, who, who are you? Why did you kill Montana Blizzard? Montana... What? Don't play dumb or I'll give you what you gave him. Blizzard was my partner. I rode with him last night and I've been watching things today. So that's it. Yeah. Blizzard told you about the silver. Maybe he told you he had a trail guide. Anyhow, you killed him to get it. 
I want it. Uh, let's be sensible about this thing. Maybe we can get together. Yeah. How? You've got to have my help. You want to find that bullion, but you're running from the law. Now, listen. I'm listening. Suppose I did kill Blizzard. He was an escaped convict. Him and a kid Carey would have been hung. Heard that weeks ago. You... What? Are you... All right. I'm Kid Carey. Carey. Carey, I, I didn't get that map or whatever it was Blizzard carried. You're lying. No, so help me, I didn't. I went over his clothes, his hat, his boots, his belt. I even took the grips off his six-gun. But there wasn't a sign of paper on him. Where's that gun belt now? I turned it over to the sheriff. Oh, you mutton-headed fool. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Look here. If the paper is in that belt and I missed finding it, we'll get the thing back. But how? Oh. I saw the sheriff light out with a posse. He'll be back. There's a body to bury. While Bryce and Carey plotted to recover Blizzard's gun belt, Dan reported to the Lone Ranger the happenings in Red Ledge. He told of Bryce's method of making change and displayed the five cartridges. Keep them, Dan. They're no use to me. Potato. Uh, me here, Kimasabi. Tom Mason, the sheriff of this county, is an old friend of ours. Ah, uh, and him good man. He may need our help. Well, it plenty hard to trail men in badlands. Big posse, no good. We'll join him when he's alone. Ah, and where we go? To Red Ledge. We can manage to meet him without being seen. You want me to stay here? Yes, Dan. But if you find that you need anything, go to the store. Uh, steady, boy. Come <laughs> on, Silver. Get him up to scout. On their arrival in Red Ledge, the Lone Ranger and Tonto dismounted and stationed themselves at a point among the deserted buildings. There they could watch both ends of the street from cover. They had no idea that a similar watch was being kept at the store. There, Bryce and the fugitive from the gallows peered from windows. The pair waited also for the return of Sheriff Mason. He's coming down the south trail now, kid. With a posse? No, he's alone. Then I'd better get set for him. Duck out the back way and into the rear of the old saloon. Place ain't been locked for years. You can gun him from the front doorway. You sure we're the only two living men in town? <laughs> We're as much alone as if we were out in the Badlands. All right, Bryce. Just don't try to put anything over on me with a sheriff. Yeah. Right now, Carrie's thinking about a way to get rid of me. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, there. Oh. Well, Sam, the killer made a clean getaway. Couldn't pick up his trail anywhere. Oh, where's the posse? Uh, like in all posses, the boys was glad the quitters they were anxious to start. Yeah. What are you going to do with the dead man? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. I'm not going to tote him back to the county seat. It's up to the county to take care of him. There's no fun for burying people. Anyhow, this is your town, Syme. You're the mayor, the marshal, the postmaster, the whole works. Meaning I've got to bury him? Why, well, I'd have to build a box. Blast the hole in the hill. Use my wagon. This hombre left some property. Sure. Gun and belt. Well, now, you can have the outfit if you dispose of the remains decent and Christian-like. Oh, I... Oh, I see. I don't need his stuff, but maybe I could sell it. It ought to be worth a good $35. I won't haggle in a case like this. You give me his things and I'll tend to him. Might even put up a marker. Yeah, there you are, Sam. I've got to be hitting the trail. Adios, Sheriff. Well, so long. Don't take any empty cartridges. Empty cartridges. That's the answer. The map's even side one of these 45s. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now, to continue our story, Tonto and the Lone Ranger saw Sheriff Mason leave the store and prepare to hail him as he passed their hiding place. Then suddenly the masked man's hands flashed to his guns. Tonto, the door of the old saloon across the street just moved. There's a man behind it. Uh-huh, and him got gun. Either he intends to fire on us or the sheriff. Him not see us. Him aim at sheriff. Drop that gun! Oh, 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 boy! Oh, Shoot gun from hand, Kimasabi. He dodged back into the building after him. Stop, you two fellas! Shall fire! Stop! Hold your fire, Sheriff Mason. We're friends. Uh, 
A masked man. What are you... Why, you're the... Well, I'll be... A man tried to ambush you from that doorway. Where did he go? Inside. Now, you ride around to the rear and head him off. Get up there. Get Come up. on, Toto. Into the building. Me pick up, fellas, son. Huh? Emily got it. Empty. We're too late. Uh, Princeton does show him come in. Go out, back door. The back door is open. Did you see the fellow, Sheriff? No, he must have run out before I got back here. We'll search these vacant buildings. Okay, Miss Hobby, look. Man come with shotgun. It's Sam Bryce, the storekeeper. Hey, what's the shooting about, Sheriff? Eh? Well, who's the masked fellow with the Indian? They're friends of mine. The fact is, he just kept me from getting bushwhacked by some hombre who was hiding in the saloon building. Probably the same fellow who killed the stranger last night. There's no doubt of it. He must have been in there all the time. Let's get on with the search, Sheriff. The search proceeded systematically, with Tonto leading the horses and watching the street, while the Lone Ranger and Sheriff Mason, guided by Sime Bryce, forced one door after another, only to find at their feet the undisturbed dust of years. At length, the party reached the old livery stable. Look at those hoof prints, Sheriff. Yeah, they're fresh. Two horses left here. He had someone waiting for him. They rode right into the gulch, heading for the Badlands. There was only one man. Yes, the sign shows he was leading the other horse. Hello, get the horses. Yes, Silver. Yeah. Scout. You will have a hard time catching a man with half hour start and an extra horse, Sheriff. I don't know. He may be unarmed and out of provisions. Your masked friend should have shot to kill. We might have to bring him in dead at that. Better stay open late tonight, Sime. Yep. There'll be coffee waiting if you get back. Steady, big fella. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Get up there. Bryce hurried back to his store and stripped Montana Blizzard's belt of cartridges. Working with a knife, he pried the lead out of one brass case after another, only to find that it contained nothing but powder. Only when the last of 25 cartridges failed to disclose the secret, did realization come to him that all of the 30 loops on the belt were full that morning. He recalled the sheriff's purchase of tobacco, five cartridges worth, and the change he made for the strange boy. While he worked himself into a murderous frenzy, cursing the fate that had tricked him, Dan Reed toyed with the missing rounds of ammunition at the Lone Ranger's camp. Hey, what was that? Sounded like a footstep. Yeah, it is something. Man, or some kind of big animal. If I can find Tyler's extra gun here. There. There it is. That's empty. But I've got five shells. Drop that gun, Sprout. Hey, why should I? Who are you? I'll show you. Hey, let him me. Take that loose rock. You what? You didn't get that cannon loaded. Give it here. It isn't mine to give. Now you can say I took it from you. Where are those cartridges you had? On the ground there, by your feet. Uh, well, there's only five. You've got all there are. Dump those bags. There, see for yourself. Not a cussed cartridge. Say, when will the rest of your bunch be back? I don't know. Meaning they might be back any minute, huh? Look here, Sprout, you know I'm being chased. Who's after you? Yeah, that don't figure in the thing. I just don't want another outfit on my trail. What are you going to do? What I can't do is leave you here to blab. Hand me that hunk of meat and those biscuits. That grub brought you bad luck. I smelled it in your fire a way off. Uh, there you are. Take it. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Missed the pup. He ran just when I had my hands full. Get up, Victor. Oh, he's got a horse out there. And only two shots left. I'd better get back to my nags and cut a circle into Red Ledge. In his flight from camp, Dan took the most direct route to the ghost town. For Sam Bryce's store seemed to him the one logical place in a strange and thinly populated area to seek refuge and spread an alarm. Twilight was thickening into night as he galloped. Finally arriving in town, he secured Victor, the son of Silver, to the hitching rail in front of the store. Oh, we made it, boy. Mr. Bryce, are you there? Yes, who is it? What do you want? I'm looking for the sheriff. Oh, come on in. I'm lighting this lamp here. There, yeah, I can see a little now. Oh, it's 
So it's you, is it? I was in here this morning. I, uh... I gave you five cartridges for change, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Maybe you ought to spend them, eh? I told you, I'm here looking for the sheriff. He's out riding trail on an owl hoot. Now, uh... About those cartridges. What about them? You didn't try to shoot them, did you? I didn't. Well, they ain't any good. Not one in the whole box they came out of was any good. I'll give you five others or uh, or two bits in trade. Ain't that fair? Yeah, it would be if you weren't mistaken. Yeah? How's that? Well, they didn't come out of a box. I saw the sheriff give them to you, and I know they can be fired. I want those 45s. Hey... What are you pointing that gun at me for? Take those cartridges out of your pocket and be quick about it. I haven't got them. You're lying. An outlaw held me up at our camp and took them away from me. That's why I want the sheriff. Stand still. I'm going to search you. Yeah. Elk teeth. Pea-sized gold nuggets. Horseshoe nails. Is that all you've got? An outlaw took those cartridges. Won't you believe me? Cheat it again. And you're the fault of it all, you little pack rat. You're not talking sense. Nothing makes sense. Nothing. A half million in bullion gone, and you're to blame. What are you going to do? Take care of you. If it's the last thing I ever do. When Kid Carey's trail led to the camp where Dan was supposed to be waiting, Sheriff Mason, Tonto, and the Lone Ranger quickly learned at both the boy and his horse advantage. Then they headed for Red Ledge. Meanwhile, close as Dan stood to death at the hands of the Greek Cray storekeeper, he was first to hear the cautious footstep outside the door. The sound seemed to restore Bryce to a measure of sanity. He forced Dan to lie down under the counter, and he put his gun out of sight. Kid Carey. Yeah, it's me. I, I, I thought that... You thought the sheriff had chased me out into the Badlands, where I'd get plugged to die of starvation. <laughs> What do you want? A couple of hundred forty-fives and a sack of grub. And hurry it up. All right, all right. But say, did you hold up... I've held up a lot of people. <laughs> you can call this a hold-up if you want to. The kid says... The kid says to you, get a move on. Let me explain. Yeah. Yeah, you do have something to explain. A lot of empty cartridges and a pile of powder on the counter. You got that gun belt. The sheriff gave it to oh, me. Oh, he did. Well, where's Blizzard's trail guide? The right cartridge wasn't in the belt. You must have it. Me? Why? I mean it. Now, look, Bryce. I haven't any time to fool with you. Talk straight or that Wells Fargo bullion will stay where it is until doomsday. Look in your gun. You're looking in it now. And it's your last look. No, don't you... <laughs> How to get stocked up. Hey, horse, I've got to hurry. Dan, still under the counter, heard the approaching horses and recognized Silver's hoofbeat. As Kid Carey began snatching ammunition boxes from the shelves, Dan grasped the fugitive's legs, bringing him down with such force that he dropped the gun. Why, what you and the papa tried to get once before. Here comes my friends. Let him come. I've got the gun again. Ben. Here. Get up or I'll blow you wide open. All right. Drop that gun and turn the boy loose. Hey, hey, look who's talking. Listen, you in a mask. I'm giving the orders. Shoot. Sure, go ahead. Guess you're the hombre who shot a gun out of my hand today. But this is different. Shoot. Get out of that door. I'm coming through behind this Dan boy. Stand back and hold fire, Sheriff. We're helpless. <laughs> now, Mr. Mask Man... Hand over those fancy coats of yours. Don't do it. He's only got one shot left. One's enough for you, Sprout. He's Kid Carey. He killed Sam Bryce. And Bryce, I guess, killed the man last night. Carey and Bryce called him Blizzard. Is Sam Bryce dead? He's here behind the counter, Sheriff. He, Carey, and Blizzard were mixed up in some kind of a scheme to dig up a lot of stolen bullion. Tell him, Dan, boy. I don't mind. No, you can only hang once. You and Montana Blizzard were to have been hung a couple of weeks ago. We put it off. Now, oh, give me those guns, mass man. How do you want me to go about it? Unbuckle your belt and back up. The buckle is loose. You showed me how it felt to have a gun shot from your hand. Now, maybe you can tell me how it feels to have your guns lifted. Don't give up your guns. Uh, ooh, uh, who threw that knife? My wrist. Break away, Dan. I'm loose. Well, I'll kill you, you mass meddler. Not with that gun, you had your chance at misfire. Oh. Yeah, 
Hey, looks like I'm going to have a very tame prisoner. Toto, where were you when you threw your knife? And me and Storr. Go in, Pank. Wait. Right time. The Lone Ranger took a long chance when he exposed his back to this outlaw in order to draw his attention from you, Dan. I saw Kid Carey's trigger finger draw in and the gun hammer fall. Only one cartridge in a thousand, Miss Fires. Say, Carey and Bryce were talking about a cartridge that had something to do with where the train robbery loot is hidden. I have Carey's gun. I'll take a look at the shell. Yeah, don't look any different than any other defective cartridge. Try out the lead, Sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, that bullet came out too easily. And what's that inside? A roll of cigarette paper. That, Sheriff, is the cause of all the killing. It's Blizzard's trail route to the place where the loot is hidden. Blizzard engineered the Big Wells Fargo Express robbery. That's a half a million dollar cartridge. And even though it's loaded with paper, it killed two men and is sending another back to the hangman. It also left Red Ledge a deserted village. Ill fares the land to hastening ills of prey. Where wealth accumulates, Men decay. Wells Fargo pay plenty for the recovery of that silver. You deserve the reward, Dan. <laughs> Turn it into the county poor fund, Sheriff. Good boy, Dan. You're learning. Adios, Sheriff. Adios. Goodbye, friends. Steady, big fella. <laughs> Come on, Silver. Get him up. Get up, picture. Oh, I'm Silver. Oh. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.